Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Look at this. Well, it's a mess. We're doing some cleaning in here. We're gonna play with some makeup today. I need it. She's looking rough today. We're gonna to be doing a festive makeup today, which is so perfect because I was driving in town in Glasgow yesterday. It was so festive. It was so good. The pubs were all full. There were so many people out shopping. I was in my shop and there were so many people coming in, dulled up to the nines to go on their like Christmas nights out and stuff. It's just made me so excited. I'm in my pregnant lady feels today. My emotions are mental. What I've noticed though, and this actually kind of goes for whether, whatever emotional state you're in, but I will feel a million times better once my makeup's done. And we're gonna do it together today, it's going to be great. We're gonna do a little bit of skincare to start with. How does that sound? Also, I'm delighted to say that Elf Cosmetics is sponsoring a portion of this video. I've got three key products from them. I've actually got four. One of which is an old favorite of mine. One of which I'm obsessed with. I've only tried one shade before and one of which is brand new to me. So thank you so much Elle for sponsoring this video. You are single-handedly being my therapy today. Let's start with our face. This is the Face Gym Massage Ball. Uh, I recently just filmed a little tutorial doing this stuff first and then you do my makeup afterwards. This is so cool. Uh, we're gonna do a facial workout together. So I'm just gonna do it. You can, I'll link the video, but you start in the middle. See if you hold a lot of tension in your face, which I do, look how crazy I look. I definitely hold loads of tension in my face, especially my jaw. I used to get Botox for it, but I'm not allowed that anymore. There you go down and you feel that way. So see, cause the ball's rubber, it can really grip the muscles of the face. Get right, oh my God, even that just feels nice. And you can pull it. And it's really good for like lymphatic drainage. Oh, it's honestly like a massage. And then I just do it on the other side. You do this on dry skin. So you push it up, roll it down, push it up, hold it. You get down here, you do a little circle. They've got videos on their website that you can follow. Now I'm gonna spray my face with my Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. This is dented and everything, I'm obsessed with it. It's so nice. On Cult Beauty, they've got 100ml bottles, which I bought for me and my mum for Christmas. She won't watch this, she won't see this. Once we've done that, I'm gonna go in with my Ordinary. So this used to be called the Buffet. I used to talk about it all the time. This is multi-peptide and HA serum. They changed the name of it because there are loads of peptides found in this formula, which are really, really great for your skin. Really hydrating, great for your skin barrier. I obviously have just dampened my face down. So I'm gonna take one little pipette straight onto my hand. So I was like this, rub. Oh, so nice. And then bring that down your neck. And just let that sink in. I find this step is really good for hydration, but see for under makeup, it gives your skin a slight stick. Once I've finished my skincare, I'll show you what I mean. My makeup was unbelievable yesterday. I did this exact routine with like the ball and everything. And my makeup lasted all day using these products. So I was dead happy. See if I had unlimited money. I actually think the boot, you know, everyone says, would you get a chef, would you get a masseuse or whatever? I think I would get a facialist to take my makeup off every night and like give me a massage. I think that would be life changing. What would yours be? I wonder if anyone would have like a makeup artist come and do their makeup every morning. I know before I could do my hair, I, I might have picked a hairdresser to like style my hair every morning. I would like it just a massage like twice a week, I think. Next we're going in with another Face Gym product. This is the Face Gym Youth Reformer Firming Vitamin C and Nootropic Oil. Oil and Serum is beautiful. And I'm just taking a pump of that, pressing that into my skin. This is super glowy. Down my neck as well. And then you can give yourself a little facial massage with this as well. Do you know, actually, while I'm talking about Face Gym, their TikTok is so good. It shows you like all your facial massage techniques. And you know what's really fun? Seeing like the before and afters of people that have done it for like 90 days. So there's a lot of this. The bunny ear, there you go. It just gets all the blood pumping and I know that my water retention's only gonna get worse. This is actually a really good alternative to Botox while I can't get it. And also it just feels really nice. It's like giving yourself a little bit of love, a little bit of a treat. I love it. Last step in the skincare routine slash first step of the makeup, I'm gonna use my Vive Skin Nova. So because I've used those lovely skincare ingredients underneath, this is gonna add more hydration, but it's gonna make our skin have that stick that I just talked about. And there's something about rubbing this on. Honestly, it's so good. Giving it a pat. And can you see, can you hear? We've got the perfect canvas for makeup. First e.l.f. product I'm gonna use, you've seen me use before. This is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I've got two shades here. I've got shade number three, which is close to my skin tone. And then I've got shade number six, which I'm gonna use as a little bit of a glowy cream bronzer. So I'm gonna use this 
honestly all over, that's how I like to use it. Huge big doe foot. I'm gonna keep this kinda mostly to the high points, but I'm not just using it as a highlight today. I'm using it more like a tinted moisturizer, let's say. Uh, I'm gonna go in with concealer to add coverage, but I just want to kinda all over any sponge will do, but I just wanted something nice and quick to tap this out. And you'll see, it actually makes me look maybe slightly paler than I am because of the highlighting properties, but that's actually kind of perfect because it's going to be like under painting. It's almost like I'm doing this first and then we'll add coverage on top, but the glow will peek out from behind. It had a little bit more of a kind of bronzy look, even though it's winter, I do not care. I actively do not care. So we're going to do here, here, bish, bash, bosh, bing, bang, bomb. I've run out of onomatopoeias. <laughs> And actually, I don't really want to go under my chin, but I do want to just kind of bronze up around that area. Or we're gonna go in with the same sponge. Do you know what? This would be beautiful on holiday. I know that it's winter again, but see if you're sneaking off for some winter sun, see this just as a liquid bronzer. And you see the sponge just makes light work of blending that in. It looks really like supermodel skin. So we're super glowy. We've got that little bit of tan starting. Now we're gonna add the coverage. So I'm gonna use my Vive Modern Radiance Concealer in the shade Medium 4. There's a guy on TikTok that's Scottish that says medium and he, he made a good point. He was, Scottish people say it with a J. Like medium, 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 medium 4. And I'm gonna go all the usual spots, but I'm gonna go under my eyes, round here. I'm gonna add that coverage where I need it. So definitely my wee spotty chin sides of my face. This is going to slightly change the, the finish as well. This has a, a kind of radiant satin finish but it's definitely a lot more matte than what's going on in my face right now. Definitely around my nose. All right. So you can see most of the coverage is really in the centre. Just wait and see. Trust the process, okay? Trust the process. I'm going to pat that out with my sponge as well and you'll see this starting to change. It'll start to look a little bit more like I've got foundation on rather than just really glowy product. That glow is gonna do all the work from underneath. It's really, really nice. It's a really nice way to layer up product. And then let's get under these eyes. But look at that, natural, natural, super glowy. I love it. I'm gonna go in with my Vive Dimension Face Palette in the shade Dusk, which is the slightly deeper shade. I'm just gonna to touch into these to enhance my cheeks, give them a bit of color. I usually work backwards, so I'll bronze first, then I'll use the deeper blush at the back of my cheeks, the brighter blush slightly more under my eye and at the front, and then I'll use my highlight to finish off as well, and then we'll powder, set it all. So I'm gonna go in with my one, two, three precision powder brush, and I'm gonna use this one brush for the whole thing. It's so easy. So I'm gonna go in with the bronzer first. And we've already got a little bit of that suntan from the e.l.f. halo glow, but this will just set it and make it look a wee bit more intense. While I'm bronzing, I'm gonna tell you why I've moved my camera. So if you remember, you used to face more this way, but there's a mirror right next to me and it basically made the background look like it was convex, concave. It basically made the background look like it was squint, like it was mirrored but squint. It annoyed a lot of you guys and it actually really annoyed me as well. So I've moved my desk like to a diagonal. So you can basically just see my cupboards. I need to get something to cover up that. That's like my wardrobes that don't fit together or something, I don't know. I tell you what, I'm really good at getting things to a certain stage and then just leaving them. Like this room got painted white and it got kind of furnished mostly and I've just left it. It's not finished but I've just left it because I'm like, eh, it's good enough. We're bronzed, I'm going to go in with this blush, tap it off and we're going to keep this super high. So this makeup is going to be so, it's going to be really like cheeky, blushy, but the coverage that I've done on my face is actually not that much. Like see the concealer, the way that I've used it with the sponge, it's sheared it right out, almost into more of a foundation on top of the Elf Halo Glow, it's really, really nice. I'm just patting on, I love patting on my blush with a brush, right over the brow. Let's go in with the pink, see just right there. Oh my God, I feel like that just makes you look so youthful. And I'm gonna pat that back with my sponge. Also, see the ball that I use? I swear it gives you cheekbones. Okay, I lied. I'm not gonna use this brush for the highlight. I am gonna use my highlight brush. This is one, two, five brush. And I'm just gonna buff that on top of my cheeks. This is such a like finely milled, creamy highlight that you can really like buff into your skin. It's really, 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 really nice. It can look really sheer or you can build it up to be blinding. I'm gonna use my Modern Powder Perfector in the shade Medium, and we're gonna pat that in with quite a dense brush. This is my blush and bronze brush. And we're really packing that on in the middle, and see like my forehead here? I'm just gonna take that half away and show you. 
Oh my god, it still looks like skin. It's, it's the best powder. It just makes everything look airbrushed. It's amazing. Right, we're going to set that with Urban Decay All Nighter. Do you know what? I really miss my fan. I don't know where it is. I feel like at this stage I can zoom you in and we can do our brows and our eyes. Well, my face is set and we're going to do brows. I've been using up my Cabrow, which is my Benefit pomade, and I'm now on the Pal made. This is the shade number four. It's really, really nice with my hair now that it's, that it's super dark. I love it. It's so creamy. So you basically, you dip in and then you can brush it off on this little like set of stairs. <laughs> it's so cool. And I'm just going to fill in my brows. So I tweezed them away to nothing, right? I'll hear nothing about it. I regret nothing either. I'm going to be a mother, okay? Mums always have skinny brows. I do just like skinnier eyebrows on myself though. So... I just fill in using an angle brush and I keep really within my shape. Do you see that? So I used to overdraw my brows all the time. I just don't do it anymore. Bring it down to the front and then just kind of feather this part through. I really, really like it. It kind of reminds me how like I did my eyebrows when I was younger. Just because I didn't really know that I could change the shape or whatever. But actually, when I've tweezed them away, I do actually really like the shape. So can I just say I feel better already? I was feeling a bit weepy today. And the one thing that I'm making sure I do is I actually fill the tail in because that's the skinniest part, but it's also the most sparse part. And I can see that this one's much more arched feeling, so I'm going to bring that arch up slightly. And then I can just actually drop it down. So I think I've like tweezed it too much here. But how easy was that? And that won't go anywhere. Mm -mm. And then I just use my usual. I've got 24 hour brow setter and my gimme brow in the shade number six, which is the darkest, but I'm loving my dark eyebrows just now. They actually just match my hair as well. They're not that, they're not too dark. Do you know what? I really don't think I would suit bleached eyebrows. And I'm kind of disappointed because I feel like all the coolest people suit bleached eyebrows, but I just would not. Oh, sorry. This is number five. Gimme brow number five. We're going to prep with Vivi Wand and Sand as always because it just does not go anywhere and it's the perfect base and see when my base is not completely perfect like today it's glowy and it's sun-kissed it's not properly covered anywhere you can still see my skin I really like my eyes to be completely seamless just because I've got quite a lot of discoloration there and it can just make things look a bit dirty a bit messy so see what I mean that's just completely cleaned everything up this brings me on to my next elf product look at these Wait, let me flip them around. So these are a mixture of the liquid metallic eyeshadows and liquid glitter eyeshadows. I think that these are like Pokemon and you want to catch them all. They are so good. They are so dinky. They're like the cutest little packaging ever. Um, I've used these before, used and loved such great glitter eyeshadows, but there's two shades that I saw that like immediately stood out to me that I want to use today because they give me festive, they give me Christmas, but in a cool way. So this is Dirty Martini. Oh my God, look at that color. See with my eye color. I wish my eye color was that color. It's almost like a greeny gold. It's so, so cool. And then this one here I thought would be great for extra sparkle. This one's called Flirty Bird Day. This is the one that I used to use all the time. Love it. So let me just swatch to see what the pigment's gonna be like on this one. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. So like, I kind of just want to... Mm. No, I'm not going to. So I've got these two to the side. Honestly, just go and have a flick through all the shades and have a bloody great time because they are amazing. The eyeshadow palette I'm going to use, this is my favourite packaging that they've ever done. This is the new NARS. How cute is that? Oh my god, I love it. This is the Stargaze palette. So if I open it up. Do you think that's such nice colours? Wait, there you go. Really nice mixture of you've got your neutrals and then you've got this kind of like purpley pink side. I'm obviously going to be using the neutrals today. Um, we're going to use this in the crease. We're going to build it up a little bit with these just to create a nice big grungy smoky eye and then we're going to use our glitters on top because I want to do something with a bit of oomph today. I'm actually starting with this cool tone shade in the top just to go right over my whole eye. That's beautiful. I feel like that's the that's kind of similar to a shade that I've got in 90s. It's really nice. These cool tone colours are speaking to me these days. And then I'm going to build it up with a slightly warmer colour. Does, does that break the rules? No, because there are no rules. And if there are, then we can break them anyway. So we're going to build that on. Oh my god, this is going to end up being like a grungy, festive look. It's going to be perfect. Just going in with a fluffy brush to try and blend that out. I feel like I've got the tiniest wee bit of product like sticking. But it's nothing that can't be fixed with a big brush and a transition shade. You just whack it over everything. That shade's coming off a lot darker. Let's see if I show you. It's this one here. It looks a lot darker than on my actual eye. So I'm just going to use that underneath my eye. 
on that fluffy brush and I'm going to bring that smoky eye really far down. See as well using a fluffy brush like this, this is actually, this is the small eyeshadow blender that I'm using but it's got a really nice domed top that's going to do pretty much all the work for us. And don't be scared of bringing that smoky eye really far down because it actually looks class. I'm going to go into the bronzer in my Dimensions Face palette in that big fluffy brush and we're just going to use that to kind of soften everything and blend everything and I'm going to use that bronzer to go nice and high at my temple. You know that trick, it's almost like blending it into your hairline. I'm going to go in with this pretty much over my whole flipping eye. So this is Dirty Martini and it's that gorgeous greeny gold shift, you see that? Oh my god, it's going to be amazing I think. And I'm just going to start painting on here. It is perfect. And I'm going to bring that right up over my crease and that's going to make it look like a proper oil slick. Absolutely love that. I'm just going to go in with a clean big fluffy brush and we're just going to tickle those sides. That is honestly one of my favourite things I've used in my eyes in a really long time. Right, okay, let's use Flirty Birdie, which is the slightly more champagne -y one. I'm not going to use too much of this. I just want to use a little bit in my inner corner. Yeah, nice. I'm just tickling that out with the same brush. And then actually, I'm going to take this in the back of my hand. So I've kind of scooped it off like I would a lip gloss. I'm going to pick that up with my brush. And I just want to see what happens if I tap that on. So that's just like adding a little bit of extra sparkle. It's slightly more silvery, I suppose, but my God, it's beautiful. I would do this on top of eye makeups all the time. See, so just to add that. I'm not gonna want to take this makeup off, but I don't really think I can go and do pregnancy yoga looking like this, can I? This is some of the fa my favorite makeup I've done in a very, very long time. We're gonna add a wing. I'm gonna use my Vade Power Ink Liner in the shade Midnight Black. And we're just gonna add a little wing for some lashes. So I'm just drawing that the easiest eyeliner you'll ever use. It's a mixture between the formula, the brush, the handle. It's so easy, so easy. For mascara, we're gonna use the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. I'm just gonna build up these lashes. Really nice, chunky brush. I need to add loads of bottom mascara to this look. I'm gonna use my Vive Half Lashes in the style Whisper. Whisper. I gave them a tiny trim. They're really, really natural, honestly, once they're trimmed as well, and then I just give them a good squeeze. Oh my god, they just add the perfect amount of, like, wing, outer corner fullness, just to pull the eye up and out slightly, make your eyes look bigger, elongated. They're really, really beautiful. There's two styles that I've done, right, that don't look like much in the packet. Uh, enhance and Whisper. They don't look like much in the packet, but see, when they're on, they're everything that you need. They are so beautiful. They're really, really great for people that don't wear lashes a crazy amount, maybe. They feel like nothing on. Do you know, I'm getting like Mila Kunis from this makeup, but I don't actually know how much she wears loads of makeup. Maybe it's the colours. I think she wears like shimmer eyeshadow this colour a lot. <laughs> I love it. Right, let's zoom you out and do our little lips. I'm going to line my lips using Old Faithful Bark Modern Lip Definer. And then I have three glossy lip stains. Same really cute packaging, teeny, teeny, tiny. They're upside down. <laughs> But I know what shade I want to use, and it's this one here. It's super nude, and it is called Cinnamon Dreams. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's almost like a brown. Yeah, oh my god, it'll be so cool. Let's do nice big brat doll lips. And I'm gonna go in with the glossy lip stain, which I think is exactly just as it is on the tin. Mmm, <gasps> oh my god, it's great. Perfect colour for this lip liner. I'm just going to pat it back slightly. It's excellent. I feel like this makeup's giving. She was invited to the party. She didn't want to go, but she's there. She's sitting in the corner like this. <laughs> so that was the shade Cinnamon Dreams on the lip. I've got two more here that I just want to swatch. Oh yeah. So we've got Basic Beige, which is really, really nice. I think I'm glad that I didn't use this because with the green, I'm not sure. And then we've got Power Mauve, which will be a bit more pinky. Really, really nice that those two for summer are perfect. But I like the cinnamon dreams one that I've got on. It's almost like a like a proper brown. Very 90s, very 90s, it looks great. And you know they're called glossy stains. That's me wiped off the gloss and then you're left with the stain. So actually, you kind of get two kind of lips in one. Feel very, very like super thin on the lips. Nice and comfortable, not too slidey. So you guys, that is the final look. I hope you liked it. Like I said, I feel literally 10 times, million times better. I love it. I mean, obviously, see if I was going out, out, which I am not, not. I would think I would do like a kind of slick 
Oh, it's been ages since I did my hair like that, eh? But see, like a really, really slick ponytail, slick bun, and a nice outfit, not a jumper. But like I said, my Sunday evening plans are yoga. I'm trying to look after myself. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Elf, for sponsoring a portion of this video. And other than that, I hope that you have fun creating some glam festive looks and enjoy the festive season. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. attached to my spoolie, it's perfect. That sounded. Take a shot every time I say product and then tell me what it tastes like.